YouTube. What's going on? We need to pick him up back with another one. Let's get it. We're going to talk some boxing. We're going to get the full breakdown, full prediction. Javante Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia. Yeah, we got a big fight this weekend, Saturday. Catch weight. Fighting at 136. Javante Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia. Javante Tank Davis coming to fight 28 no 26 KOs. Ryan Garcia, 23 and no 19 KOs. Big fight. Break down the resume. You know, talk about, you know, keys to success for both fighters. You know, who I think will prevail at the end. So, lock in. We're going to talk some boxing. My full breakdown and full prediction. Lock in. Before I start the video, please watch the channel. If you like our channel, to see more content. This is content about sports and various topics. Let's get it. Yeah, my full breakdown, full prediction. Javante Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia. Didn't think this fight would come to fruition, but here we are. Here we are. The fight is here. So, keep my full breakdown. Like I said, talk about their resume. Let's talk about their resume. Javante Tank Davis definitely has the better resume, you know, of the two fighters. Let's look at, you know, Javante Tank Davis' last, you know, you know, three fights. Just his, you know, big fights in general. You got Hector Ruiz Garcia, uh, Mario Barrios, Yorkis Gamboa, Jose, I mean, Leo Santa Cruz. So, Javante Tank Davis, he's, you know, he's battle tested. He got some good guys on his resume. Only fighters I like on Ryan Garcia's resume is Javier Fortuna and Luke Campbell. I would have liked for Ryan Garcia to take that uh, tuna fight against a guy at least like Isaac Cruz, that would have been a good fight for Ryan Garcia. Somebody like Isaac Cruz, Jojo Diaz, somebody in that lightweight division that would have challenged him before he, you know, take on Tank. But he didn't want a tune-up fight, so here we are. Here we are. So Ryan Garcia, he skipped this tune-up fight that was supposed to take place in January. You know, Tank took, you know, his tune-up fight. Tank staying active. Tank is staying active. Isaac Cruz was another big opponent that, you know, gave Tank a great fight, gave him some trouble. You know, people were, they didn't know who, how that decision was gonna go, but you know, Tank prevailed. Isaac Cruz was a late step in for Raleigh Romero. So, definitely would like to see, you know, Ryan Garcia fight a guy like Isaac Cruz, Jojo Diaz, you know, a live body for he fight Tank Davis. I don't know if Ryan Garcia, is he seasoned enough? Might need a little more season on Ryan Garcia. I don't know if he's seasoned enough, if he's ready for this type of fight. But let's just break it down. The keys to the fight for both of these fighters. Ryan Garcia. Let's start with Ryan Garcia. He has to stay on the outside. He has to fight on the outside. Keep him honest with the jab. He has to. Keep him honest with the jab. Try to win on points if he can. Try to win on points if he can. And, and keep, keep Tank aware of that left hook. Even if you don't land it, Ryan Garcia, you want to keep throwing it. Keep throwing that left hook just to give him something to think about. Give Tank something to think about. Definitely got to fight this fight from the outside and win on points. If you can, Ryan Garcia, got to win on points. And Tank, Tank Davis, keys for Tank Davis, he just have to be himself. He has to be himself. Just, you know, come forward. <laughs> you're going to take some to give some. Tank, that's what you do. You can come forward. I really believe Tank can walk through Ryan Garcia's punches if he, if he really wants to. You know, faint, stay low, and just come forward. Immense pressure on Ryan Garcia. Come forward. If I'm Tank, I wanna, I wanna get out, get him out of there early if I can. You know what this fight is gonna remind me of? I think this fight is gonna be similar to American and Canelo Alvarez. If you remember that fight, I fought at like 154, 2017. American was winning on points, winning on points, but you knew at any given point Canelo could end that fight, and that's what he did when he countered American, and it was lights out. And that was all she wrote. I think that fight could be a lot similar with Javante Davis playing the Canelo Alvarez roles and, and Ryan Garcia playing the Amir Khan role. I think that fight, you know, could play out similar. This fight could play out similar to that fight. You know, where Ryan Garcia could be winning on points. Could be winning on points, you know, outlanded Tank, things like that. But it only takes one punch for Tank Davis. It's only going to take one punch for Tank Davis. So Ryan Garcia, he could lay more hands on Tank, but it only take one punch for Tank Davis. See, I'm at the gym, get it in, sweat. You know, I don't just talk this shit. I be in the gym, I work out, I get it in. So, that's the only way I can, you know, feel right making these, you know, 
motivation videos, sports videos, things like that. I still get it in, still get to sweat it. So, but yeah, Tank Davis, he has to come forward. He has to be himself, come forward. Don't look for one shot, though. Still box, but come forward. Keep that pressure on him. Keep that pressure on him, faint. And if you Ryan Garcia, you want to try to stay on the outside, keep him honest with that jab. And, and keep, keep throwing that left hook, try to set him up. Try to set him up. So he'd be aware of it all night. Keep that in his mind all night, Ryan Garcia. But ultimately, I think Tank Davis will walk through Ryan Garcia. I give this fight seven, eight rounds, because Tank, He's a slow starter, let's be real. Tank, he starts slow, but I really feel like he'll pick it up as the you know, fight goes on and Ryan Garcia starts to land some punches on Tank. Tank, he'll pick up his game, and I think he'll get Ryan Garcia out of there, but they'll keep it entertaining for the first six or seven rounds. You know, two big stars, one to star in the ring, one to star outside the ring. Ryan Garcia outside the ring, Tank inside the ring. So two big stars, they'll keep the fans entertained you know, for a while, at least Tank will for the most part before he disposed of Ryan Garcia in round seven. I got Tank getting Ryan Garcia out of there round seven. So a full breakdown, full prediction. Ryan Garcia got to stay on the outside, keep him, you know, honest with that jab, you know, mix up the combinations. Can't be flat-footed. Can't be flat-footed. You've been down, you know, by Luke Campbell before. You didn't see that overhand, overhand left coming. Can't be flat-footed. Got to be bouncy. Got to bounce around the ring. You know, use the entire ring, Ryan Garcia. And Tank, you know, you want to cut that ring off, you want to come forward. You want to come forward. You want to come forward, eat your food. Come forward and eat your food. You tank, don't play around, don't dance around with him. Come forward, keep that pressure on him. He, he's never had this pressure before. So, yeah, Ryan Garcia, big, big fight for you, so. Looking forward to it. Let me know what y'all think. Full breakdown, full prediction. Jermonte Take Davis, Ryan Garcia. And we got Devin Haney, Silly Lomachenko, May 20th coming up. So big fights in the lightweight division. Kurt Stevenson now at 135. So we got some fights. So let me know what y'all think. I love it. I'm going to keep the fire coming. That's what I do. Big fights. So I didn't think it'd come, but here we are. So let me know what y'all think. Comment, like, subscribe. We at the gym. Knock another one out. Bow, bow, bow. Let's get it.